The Neonatal Intensive Care Unit at St. Louis Children's Hospital has really been developed around two basic principles. And the first principle is that we take care of every family and every baby every day in a patient and family-centered way. What that means is that we try to integrate the families and the babies with all of the other resources and people here to make sure that each family and each baby have the best possible outcomes. And the second thing we do is we try to provide continuity for each family and each baby. This is an environment that's very different than any they've ever seen before, where all of their hope comes crashing directly into a series of uninterpretable realities. There's nothing cooler and more intimidating than the teeniest, tiniest baby. And um, they're the strongest little fighters in the whole world. The three most likely reasons why a baby would come to the neonatal intensive care unit here at Children's Hospital are, first of all, the baby was born too soon. The second reason is birth defects. But these are serious birth defects that usually require help breathing for the baby, as well as relatively urgent surgical evaluation. And then the third problem that can bring a baby to us is when there's an unanticipated problem during the birth process. The two scariest days in a family's life are the day when the baby is admitted to the neonatal intensive care unit. Because on that day, all of the scary, bad things that a family might speculate about uh, are forefront on their minds. The second day that's also very hard for families is the day of discharge. The family has to take responsibility for the baby all by itself. And so we try to be sure that every family is ready to take its baby home. Our hospital and our babies and our staff are very fortunate to have the partnership of an internationally recognized group of physicians who have specialized for most of their professional careers in some specific area to improve the outcomes of families and babies. And one of those examples is Dr. Terry Inder, whose work has really been pioneering in improving the outcomes of babies' brains. Dr. Inder has been somebody who has helped to develop uh, a technology which is called cooling. And what this technology does is to help babies' brains recover more completely and more quickly when during the birth process or shortly after the birth process, there hasn't been enough oxygen or blood going to the baby's brains. And this can be a big problem, but thanks to Dr. Inder's research, our babies here have access to state-of-the-art, innovative ways of being sure that the brain function is saved despite an unanticipated insult or problem uh, during or after the birth process. And this is the kind of innovation that we have a chance to use on a daily basis.